Today, Precarious plays... Deus Ex, Human Revolution. This should go fine. Cool it, guys. Orders are to pull out, but I can't leave without my stuff. Yeah, right. Getting into the barracks requires a security code. Tell me uh, what it is, and maybe I'll let you through. Yeah. What's the passcode, pal? 7984, asshole. <laughs> back off or I tear you two stooges another one. Fine. Just make sure you clean up your mess back there before you leave. <laughs> well, okay. I uh, am glad that Jensen is, one, such a good actor, and two, remembers codes. So that was another situation where I was uh, going against the flow. Mm-hmm. So, Jensen got to call someone an asshole, so I consider that completely worthwhile. <laughs> so these are the barracks. Are and... you finding your boss? What? Have you found the boss yet? Oh, no. I no, know I said your boss. But... That's uh, that direction. Right now, I'm looking for uh, treasures. Mm. That's right. The thing that I hate the most in games, the treasure hunt leading up to the very important urgent fight. Well, it's like listen, I did only have two throw energy packs on my person, so... I understand this, but it is not... It, I'm not criticizing your behavior. I'm criticizing game design forever and always <laughs> <laughs> you know just blanket oh. grumpiness <laughs> um i hate being given an urgent task and then being penalized for progressing urgently by having areas where it's like okay it's time for the boss fight it's urgent the, the world is ending, your girlfriend is gonna die, your mother is going to get eaten by a walrus monster. It could be any number of unpleasant things about to happen. So you should go take care of it, right? But that is exactly where they put all of the best stuff because they want you to have the stuff for the fight. And instead of putting it at your feet, they're like, here are 18 treasure chests that are very close together in this end of the level, but you have to backtrack to find it. Unless they've changed it, I think this game is going to pleasantly surprise you very soon. Mm. So this seems to be the computer that belongs to the boss. Mm. Obviously, we are not pleased, but the mission was risky from the start. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Try to find him in the meantime. Proceed with recovery of UO. Mm. No word from UO or Dutchman sent. So those are code names. I guess reports at least one EFT dead. Mm. We assume him. If so. Detroit. M Damn. Municipal Police Department. Thank you. Municipal is the missing ingredient. <clears throat> we'll have corpse. We'll need assistance from your end to recover. Advise. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hold on. This is about me. Mm -hmm. I understand you are upset with what happened at the morgue, but you must sympathize with my position as much as I would like to make sure that your interests are protected, not to mention the interests of the people you take orders from. There is only so much I can do. I cannot find out who dropped the ball and string them up accordingly, as too much interference for me is likely to raise eyebrows. Mm-hmm. How do I scroll down? There it is. What kind of rinky-dinky operation you run in man uh, Manderly? You were supposed to have that mark locked down. Now I look like a Louisiana polecat caught out on the bayou with its knickers down. That is not anything <laughs> I've ever heard. A polecat is a skunk. It was certainly colorful. Isn't it? It is, right? <clears throat> now I'm, I don't remember. I don't know. 
I've heard Polecat before, but I've never really stopped to consider because it just seems so... I've never heard it seriously. Right? I believe that polecats are skunks because of the they hold their tails up hey. and they have a stripe down it. Reading that book was just enough to push me over the edge and give me another praxis point. How many do I have? Just one. I'm going to hold on to that. Um, oh, I should mention that I put a couple more points into sneaking, basically. Mm -hmm. Energy recovery and efficiency, which is possibly excessive for this area and perhaps the entire game. Um, you may have noticed at some point that I just sort of turned my stealth field on and ran through an yeah. entire floor. I did notice that. I wasn't yeah. going to say anything. Ice creams. I, I want... Uh, you probably can't have that anymore. Your real snacks are behind there. Oh, hold on, wait a second. This is very important. You're trying to figure out what flavors of ice cream? Maybe. You have lemon? No, that's oranges. Orange, okay. This is what I really want to know. Green. Green flavor. Strawberry, apple. Green. Apple. That's apple. And that's probably, that leaves like lime. Yeah. Okay, cool. I am going to rest so easy now that we've <laughs> sussed that out. Huh. Thank God. It's important. <laughs> you always Sorry. dancing on the table. <laughs> I didn't mean to that time. <laughs> Oh, no. You know what? Ugh, oh, jeez. I'm doing it. I'm succumbing to, like, my worst impulses. Uh, we'll just... We'll think of it as a lottery. I'll do one row of lockers, right? And you will get... 200 ch credit chips. 200... Well, one chip with 200 credits in it, and then we're just going to ignore the rest of it, and that'll be... That'll be okay. We're... We're minutes from... Dang a, it. A strang boss fight. Minutes from the first boss fight, and you're like, I wonder how many lockers still have some breadcrumbs left in them. Delicious, I... delectable breadcrumbs. The thing that I really need to keep an eye out for um, right now, concussion mines, because I've got one. Mm -hmm. And then noticeable consumables that I can grab right away. So, the uncool thing about this game, I would say, is that if I recall correctly, I think that we've already found one, and it's like the tutorial example, but you can find entire Praxis kits Jeez. in oh, the yeah. environment. I remember that. And it does, unlike some games where it's really easy to ignore stuff. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is important. Look, it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted the extent to which one man would go to to ensure that his assets stay loyal. The important thing is none of them died, and because of that, we still have a chance to make a real change. If any other surgeon had been in that room instead of you, I doubt we'd be saying that. Hmm. Who were they operating on here? Yeah. Well, probably the guy you shot, right? What? At the beginning, didn't you? No, we didn't. We did not successfully. I think Jensen might have fired in that cutscene, but I don't think that it did anything. I think mm. it hit one of it, one of his augments. Um. And remember, they said they used a plural. Hmm. Like they would be dead. And I don't think that they were just trying to have, like, a, a gender-neutral singular. Yeah, what about, um... I know the answer. Your girl. I can't remember her name right now. Megan. Megan. That's not ominous. You know, I think this might... Is this the new... Is this new? Let me... Let me do... A good smart thing to do whenever you face something new. Make a backup of your life. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna... Maybe go under Holy those shelves? Holy shit. Those are all boxy guards. They are all boxy, boxy guards. <laughs> For Pete's sake, how many? It makes you wonder how, like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering. And there are box guards in the sequel. Because how could it be so, I mean, honestly, I, I would say that it is the closest thing this game has to like a, an iconic enemy. I find the box guards to be very memorable. Mm. You really, I think you only encounter like two or three of them over the course of the game, but just the design is too good to forget, to leave on the cutting room floor, you know? Mm-hmm. <sighs> mm. Gosh, I don't know if I ever noticed that those were box cards before. It's a lot. It's expensive. Each one of those is like a like half the price of a fighter jet. 